everybody, and welcome to the Upkeep for Monday, May 18th, 2020. That's right. It's all the magic news you need in 10 minutes or less. And we are kicking off this week with a banned and restricted announcement. That's right. To basically nobody's surprise, Loris is banned in Vintage and Legacy because basically, you know, like, Everyone is only playing permanents with two CMC or less already. Right. This is not a cost at all to put Loris exactly. in your deck. Exactly. <laughs> They're like, uh, okay. <laughs> They're also banning Zerda in Legacy to keep Grim Monolith decks from becoming a problem. That's right. Um, and there are some Brawl bans, which is kind of surprising. Those don't happen all that often. But Dranith, Magistrate, and Winoda are both banned in Brawl. Uh, Magistrate because they're like, hey, there's some commanders that are all about not casting cards from your hand. <laughs> and it's not great to have a card that just completely shuts that down. And Winoda because they were saying it has a good win rate. And so a lot of people were playing it. And that uh, led to, quote, reduced diversity diversity of play experience in Brawl. So some people were wondering, you know, is Standard going to see any bans because of, you know, some super powerful strategies happening in the format, that kind of thing. And Wizards did comment on that saying, quote, we are aware of some players' concerns about the frequency at which they encounter decks using companions across several formats. While we're not currently seeing problematic win rates in Standard, Pioneer, or Modern from decks using companions, we are looking at overall metagame share and potential for repetitive gameplay. If we see signs of long-term health issues resulting from high metagame share of companion decks. We're willing to take steps up to or including changing how the companion mechanic works. For now, metagames need more time to evolve before we can determine whether changes are necessary. Holy cow, Megan. I know, right? They're like, hey, maybe we'll completely change the, me the companion mechanic. We don't know yet. That is unheard of in Magic. And I know some people had been kind of banding it about like, well, maybe companions are fine just as normal cards and not companions, but... Yeah, exactly. Or they're like, what if it replaces one of the cards in your opening hand right, or something like exactly. that? Right, exactly. So really kind of shocking to hear Wizards saying this, <laughs> that they might just completely flush one of their mechanics or alter it uh, so far that it has to change the rules of the game. Yeah, but nice to see them being like, hey, we know that this is happening, yeah. and do you know what? Maybe some really big changes yeah. will happen, but we don't know right For now. For sure. Um, up next, we learned today that there is a new type of tournament called the Arena Open. Uh, so the first one is going to be May 30th through 31st, and they don't know how often yet these are going to happen, but the entry on them is 20,000 gold or 4,000 gems, and it's a two-day tournament, wow, I'm, which is... I'm excited for these, Megan. I immediately put this first one on my calendar because these seem pretty cool. Yes, exactly. You might be thinking like, hey, that entry cost is kind of high, but the day two prizes are up to $2,000. And that's like 2,000 actual dollars. Human dollars. Not just, <laughs> human dollars. Not just like, oh, hey, $2,000 worth of prizes. Like, no, <laughs> $2,000 cold hard cash. Um, so yeah, the way these are gonna work is that you can enter day one as many times as you want. I mean, um, so for you degenerates out there, get that gold ready. <laughs> Exactly. Um, you can play to seven wins, you or you play to seven wins or three losses, and seven wins gets you into day two. And there are some prizes up to those seven wins. And then day two, uh, yeah, you play again to seven wins, or in this case, two losses. And obviously that time you, you can't keep re-entering. You just yeah. get the one <laughs> shot at it. <laughs> but these prizes are pretty sweet. On day one, if you get to seven wins, you get 2,000 gems, plus, of course, that entry into day two. And day two, if you get to seven wins, it's $2,000 cold hard cash. Six wins gets you $1,000, and then gem rewards down from there. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to try and do this. Yeah, absolutely. It seems it seems pretty cool. Um, and I'm excited to see, you know, how often we're going to get to have these different tournaments yeah. or, you know, what's going to what's going to go on with other ways to play arena. It's pretty exciting. And with every entry, you get some Godzilla lands, uh, which are those new things that we saw in a recent uh, secret lair drop. And uh, those are pretty cool. So you, you'll get that no That's matter right. what. Yeah, and so those and those aren't just like those aren't the sleeves because that secret layer comes with like a sleeve code. Yeah, these are like actual the the lands that you can use with Godzilla roaming in the back of a plane. Yeah. 
Uh, next up, the Red Bull untapped qualifier was this past weekend, the first one of those. Um, congratulations to Gobetti and Rico, who won the whole thing with Azorius Yorian. That uh, sounds like it sounds like some kind of like weird tongue twister. Azorius yeah. Yorian. Azorian. Azorian. There we go. We'll make a portmanteau out of it. Uh, the top yeah. eight included Mono Red Obosh, two copies of Jessica Yorian Fires, two copies of Teamer Reclamation, Gruul Amori, which I'm interested in, and Jun Sacrifice piloted by Yuki Ichikawa. Yeah, that Jun Sacrifice list was also pretty cool. It has like Bolus's Citadel and a whole bunch of other stuff. Ooh, nice. And you're you're personally excited for some Azorius Yorian action, Megan. Oh, I really am. Do you know what? I was just I was just waiting for a nice control deck to come around in this format. Yeah, weren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> um, next up, CFB has announced a Command Fest online on June 6th. Yeah, so this is uh, replacing their Magic Fest online. We're shifting things over to Commander here. This is actually going to be a charity event in aid of the Red Cross. It's free to play in and has a suggested donation if you want to help out the Red Cross. They describe it as casual games with silly rules, donation drives, and a stream over on Twitch with lots of special guests, including Jimmy Wong, Josh Lee Kwai of the Command Zone, Gavin. And Verhave, Wizard of the Coast, Olivia Gobert Hicks of the Commander Rules Committee, Loading Ready Run, Pleasant Kenobi, Eric Levine, Riley Knight, and more. Jeez. So, yeah, if you're a Commander fan, this is going to be sweet. Yeah, absolutely. And finally, uh, Wizards of the Coast has announced a Love Your LGS promotion. So this is a program to reward players for shopping at their LGS once it is safe to do so. Of course, um, curbside pickup does qualify for this. Any purchase or event entry gets you a copy of a Reliquary Tower, which is pretty sweet. And of course, the buy a box promo is going on. You'll get a copy of Hangar Backwalker and Mecha Godzilla Battle Fortress. <laughs> Yes, and then there's the special Love Your LGS events, and these are going to be happening happening again once it's possible. They say they understand that it might be a while before stores are able to host in-person events, but there's a really cool art print that's like one of the comic book art styles oh, of I love Vivian. Those. Uh, and it's really, really nice. And so players are going to be able to get one of those um, with entry into LGS events once those are possible. So the Reliquary Tower, that's like a one-time thing. Like you get one. The buy a box promo um, of that Mecha Godzilla treatment for Hangerback Walker is as many as you get. Okay. You know, those are just like any box that you buy from them. It can include a Coria. It can include the mystery booster boxes and that sort of stuff. You can get any number of those. And then just the art prints are again, just one. And remember, of course, Ikoria officially released here in the US last weekend. So if you want, you can get pre-release packs from your LGS. They can deliver, like some are doing delivery, of course, curbside pickup, like we mentioned. And I've got my box right here that Ooh. we are gonna play with and open on the show, uh, Good Luck High Five today. Um, so yeah, yeah if you I wanna play with your friends. It is all wrapped up still, and I'm really excited to crack it open. I know, and we got two bonus packs with it too, which is pretty sweet. So yeah. uh, remember to contact your LGS if you want a pre-release pack or buy a box or anything like that. A lot of them, like we said, doing safe ways to pick stuff up. So that's uh, pretty cool and a great way to support your local game store. For sure. Well, that is all of the news for this week. Remember to check out our full-length podcast, Good Luck High Five. Anywhere fine podcasts are found or to support the show on Patreon, patreon.com slash GLHF magic. If you get something out of this every week. Good luck, high five.